Hello happy crocheters, this is Lindsay from WindingRoadCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make t-shirt yarn. This is a standard size t-shirt yarn and for this project we are going to need a t-shirt. I'll talk about exactly what t-shirts work the best in a bit. I am using a yardstick. I need to have a pin on hand and some nice sharp scissors. Now I am using an extra large t-shirt and it's gonna give me about 23 to 24 yards of yarn. It's important that you look for t-shirts that do not have side seams as cutting over these side seams could cause them to unravel and you would have to go in either with fabric glue or with a thread and needle and sew those parts together. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we are going to take our t-shirt and we are going to fold it in half with one side, the underside being a inch longer than the top piece. This is because we're not going to be cutting this area and it's going to allow us to cut this in a way that's gonna result in it being a spiral and giving us a continuous yarn. So I turned my work sideways so that you can see better. And as you know, the top layer is one inch shorter than the bottom where we folded it. I am going to use a yardstick and I know that this yardstick is roughly one inch wide and that's how wide I want my yarn strips to be. So I'm just going to use my pen and I am going to mark along the ruler one inch wide. I'm just going to mark on both sides and then I'm going to continue to mark all the way across. I'm going to continue marking my lines all the way up into the point where we're right under the sleeves and you will notice that I'm not marking that last inch because we're not going to be cutting that section. T-shirt yarn is a really fun project to make and it is a really great way to use leftover t-shirts. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut these lines. The very first line I'm going to cut all the way across and this is because I'm cutting off the hem. The hem will not make very good yarn. This is because we're actually going to stretch the yarn and the hem will not stretch because of the seaming. So now we're just going to cut our lines making sure we do not cut that last inch. So I'm just going to cut up my line until I reach the fold of the top piece, that first side seam. I'm going to cut it and then you can see how I left that one inch at the end intact. Now I'm going to cut across all my other lines. T-shirt yarn is really good for some projects like baskets and purses, but just so you are aware, working with t-shirt yarn can often lead to a lot of hand fatigue, so kind of be a little cautious when using it and make sure you take breaks while crocheting. When you get to your very last line that is right under the sleeves, go ahead and cut that last one inch. We're going to cut it all the way across. And then I did get just a little bit of the sleeve seam, so I am going to cut that off as well. I'm just going to take the top part of my shirt and put it away. You can cut this up into rags for cleaning, or I recommend holding on to it just in case you need a little bit more yarn as you can cut small strips of yarn out of this but nothing long and continuous like we can do with the bottom section. With the bottom section now we need to lay it flat so that you can see that two inch section because we're opening it up it's going to be about two inches wide because now we need to cut this in a way that will give us one continuous piece of yarn. So find the bottom of your shirt and what we're going to do is cut everything at a diagonal. So once again, I am going to use my pen. I'm going to find the first cut on the left side, and I'm going to draw a diagonal line down to the very bottom of our shirt. Now moving to the next two pieces, going from the left to the right, I'm going to draw at a diagonal connecting the next two cuts. And I am going to continue this all the way to the top just creating these diagonal lines. Because we're cutting at a diagonal, we are creating a continuous spiral that will allow us to have one continuous piece of yarn. So now I'm just gonna cut where we placed our lines. I 
After finishing this tutorial, I plan to make at least three other patterns, quick patterns using t-shirt yarn, so make sure to check those out as well. We've reached an area that I did not draw the lines for, but all I have to do is find the cut on the right and then cut it so that it connects with the cut on the left. So as I finish up, we're gonna get all the way to the very last cut and I'm just gonna cut it till it comes to the edge of the fabric. I do have a thin area here that might not work, but we'll just check that out later. The last thing we need to do as I dig for my yarn end somewhere in here is to stretch our t-shirt. So the nice thing is this actually is gonna be much longer than what you see right now. Take your yarn in between your fingers and then just stretch it. As you stretch it, the edges are going to curl inward. So all of those black marks that I made on here are gonna be hidden, as well as if you are terrible at cutting, it doesn't matter. Your rough edges are also gonna get rolled to the inside of the yarn, and it's gonna look nice and neat as if you were an expert at this. So I'm just going to keep stretching all along our t-shirt yarn, making it longer. And here you have it. There is all of our t-shirt yarn. Just need to roll it up in a ball and you're ready to go and work one of your projects. I tried to make this yarn as close as I possibly can to the thickness of store-bought yarn, so you should be able to use it for any project calling for t-shirt yarn. I really hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and you'll check out my other crochet tutorials. And as always, thank you so much for watching.